What is poppin' you guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. It's been like five days. Uh, this week was a little bit hectic. Um, I was busy every night after school. And baseball starts up next week. So you know, I'm going to try and be... Try and pump out videos as much as I can, but it's gonna be a little bit harder now that I have something to do with my life other than fishing. But today's video, as you guessed by the title, we're gonna be going over five free spawn baits that you need to have with you at all times. Let's dive on into it. <laughs> Three hard baits, yeah, three hard baits, two soft baits. One of the hard baits can be a plastic or a hard bait. But first, we have to talk about what is the spawn. So the spawn, I made a fishing terminology video about a month ago. So like, if you haven't seen that, we're gonna go over a quick basis of what the spawn is. So pre-spawn is when the fish are eating a ton Getting ready to spawn, the spawn is when the fish are actually up shallow, laying eggs in their little bed that they carve out of the little sand or mud, and it's literally like a little bowl. They just sit there. The females are going to lay their eggs and then leave. The males are the ones that are staying on the bed, protecting the fry, which are the little baby bass about that big. The one... Well... The one thing that male bass hate are bluegill and bait fish in general. Because if that male bass leaves the bed, the bluegill are gonna come in there and start pecking away at all the little eggs, eating everything. So, us fishermen, we capitalize on that. We use bluegill style baits, bluegill colored baits, bait fish stuff in general. But usually the spawn is really clear. You're usually sight fishing. You know, you're usually sight fishing these fish. You say, oh, I see a bed. There's about a four pound bass on there and there's a six pounder kind of just swimming along. So you're gonna throw out there. Now, I have all one color of something, which is one color at least, the second color I'm going to start trying to use. I'll, let me grab it here for you guys. You know, I'll just see until later. You might have just seen there. You're, right, you're not allowed to see. But without further ado, we're going to dive on into these five baits. Okay, so... First bait I have could be an either or. We have a Sasquatch jigs, bluegill colored skipping jig, structure jig. So throw that in the bed. It's going to stand up like that. And if you have your trailer on there, that looks like a little bluegill lying face down in that bed. That's going to kick those bass off, and they're just going to munch on it. Now, the thing you could use to substitute that if you want, if you're not into jigs as much, is a Texas rig. Now, this is a cutter crawl by Biz Baits and Junebug. So you have your little bullet weight down there. So say my hand is at the bottom. It's just going to fall like that, right in the bed. Let's have those pinchers up like a little crayfish in there, crawfish, whatever you call it. Those little arms are going to be moving, ticking off those bass, and hopefully 
they bite. See, the thing is about the spawn is that fish aren't hungry because they've been eating for three months straight before. So the only way you can get them to eat your bait is to annoy them by bringing it back a bunch or doing something they don't like, which is eating their eggs. The second bait I have is a frog or a topwater of any kind. This one is probably my favorite for the spawn. This is a live target sunfish, and I'm sure you tell why. You can tell why. Because it's going to sit on top of the water like this. Walking back and forth, and you walk it right over that bed. That bass is going to see the shadow above it, and it's going to come and absolutely demolish it. Now, you could also have something like this. This is a Storm Rashi Popper. That would also get the job done. But if you're like me, you like frogs. So, either of these would work. That is my second bait. Third bait. This is the either or swim bait or hard bait. Is some kind of swim bait. This is a blue oak guide bait, glide bait, custom painted Scott Wilson, put him down below, check him out if you like that, I picked that up at the Columbus Expo, awesome little color, and then we have just Rage Swimmers, in KVD Magic, so what I'm going to do with this, is I'm going to act like I'm a stupid bluegill, and I'm going to it, glide it right over their bed, until it's right over that little bed. And that bass, he's intruder alert. Absolutely kerplows that thing. Or with a swim bait, you throw a little jig head on there and you can have it swimming along and then have it drop down face down in the bed like what a bluegill would look like if it was eating the eggs. And the bass, if it loves its children, It'll eat the bluegill. Now, fourth bait I have is a shaky head. Now, I'm sure you can notice a trend going on here. You have that spot remover head, so it's a flat bottom. So it stands up on the bottom. It's gonna stand on the bed like this. This is a Biz Baits Dizzy Diamond in Green pumpkin candy, I believe. Now we're just dragging that along. Hop it, hop it, hop it. Have it land in the bed face down. Move it a little bit. Still face down. Hop it again. And a bass. Intruder alert. And they eat it. Final bait is something I fish a lot, something everybody fishes a lot. This is a five inch Yamamoto Sanko and green pumpkin. I like to wacky rig it. Some people Texas rig it. They, you can do whatever with it. I wacky rig it so when I throw it out there, it hits the water right on top of the bed and it just flutters down right onto the bed. You know, if the bass don't eat it, when it initially flutters down, I'll pop it again. And it'll flutter right back down. And pop it again and flutter right back down. And that brings us to a bait you can use, uh, but I more have it out for the color. A lot of people like to use baits like this. This is the Biz Bug in white. Now, people use white because they can see it in the water so, so much better. No. Oh my God, the smell. So you can, you know, you're usually sight fishing bed fish. You can see that bait and you can see, okay, it's on the bed, it's sitting like this, stuff like that. No, this would go in the same little, uh, oh, what's the word? And it's on the tip of my tongue. Category, yeah, sorry, I'm a little bit tired. Category as the jig and the Texas rig there. 
You know, you break apart the appendages, it starts flopping around. Shuff like that. So, I know we're still a little bit ways away from the spawn. In fact, the pre-spawn hasn't even started here in Ohio. Do we have any more snow on the ground? No, well, there's a little, little clumps of snow out there. But, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Helps me out a lot. Go click the red subscribe button. Makes me feel like a good person. We're at 120 as of me filming this. One week from today, we're going to be down in Cincinnati for the Cincinnati Expo with, you guessed it, Sasquatch Jigs. Make sure you stay tuned. That'll be a fun, fun weekend. I'm your host, Owen. Okay, Bass, and catch you guys on the next one. See ya!